how are you guys? Now, you are the gangster killer. Yeah, it's apparently that was my that was my title. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, it's 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 great. You know, I think um, this year hip hop took like a, a different turn. You know, with myself and Wale and Kid Cudi. Um, it's a it's a certain brand of like genuine, authentic. Uh, I guess intelligent music. I think that Kanye opened the door for. So um, you know, it's it's great to be to be in that in that group, and uh, and I'm honored. You know that I got to put on a suit and come out and have some fun. It's great. Now, we're also honoring Badass Clint Eastwood. Yes. Um, he's I think, sexy. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You could probably say. <laughs> yeah, that. I could. I could say that. He's sexy. Yeah. Um, and his movies are always pretty badass. Yeah, and too. he has the sexy squint. See. Good. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. Now, we also we got the funny guys from the hangover. Right. Yes. Did you see it? No. No? Okay, I'll answer this one. Okay. Great. <laughs> so, have you ever had a hangover? Have you even compared what they saw? No, that was, that, that was a little much. But I've, I've been pretty bad. I, I went to um, Cabo one time and woke up in a pretty incoherent state. Were you, that's right. Wow, very attentive. Yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very good. Yeah, it was bad. But no tiger, no Mike Tyson. No tiger, no Mike Tyson. No small Asian men in SUVs. None of that. But. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, well, I just actually, uh, I just wrapped up. I was doing some work with Alicia Keys. That was my last kind of like, um, sort of assist like you know assisting someone else uh, I started recording my official project I'm hoping March um, so you know it's it's gonna be uh, yeah early 2010 sorry uh, no it's gonna be it's gonna be something great and so and and um, I'm excited for it so. it's a lot of pressure you don't want to let anybody down you know so people put so much in in you into you is kind of like investing into a stock so it's like you don't want to let you don't want to cause them to lose yeah I, I mean I think with me you know I kind of feel like I already put out my first album but it wasn't considered a first album so now it's like I have to sort of um, with, with, with with this project it's kind of like you with your first album you always want to come in as the underdog hungry but you know it's a certain there's certain things I can't talk about anymore like so it's it's an interesting um, Thing to find the right story to tell. With that's my that's my biggest pressure. But yeah, I mean, as new artists, you know, we want to we want longevity. So yeah, it's pressure. Thank you so much.